Hello, my fiends. I'm here in front of the Park Ridge Library having my nice hot Java. Dr. Suave Java. It was imported, trucked in this morning all the way from Haunted Pontiac, Michigan, brothers and sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Brewed by Dr. Suave and his fiends. Wolfman Mac, Nurse School Fiend, Sir Gassy or Sir Gasolot. You know, the guy that eats too many tacos and passes the gas. Freaks out everybody, scares everybody. And then Rhonda, his bride, the bride of Suave, the bride of Dr. Suave, and his mummy, Sharon Orlando, out there in Haunted Pontiac. I'm here in front of the Park Ridge, Libra Park Ridge Library. Yeah, the haunted Park Ridge Library in Park Ridge, Illinois. And back there is the haunted Pickwick Theater, where I saw the mummy when I was tw five years old in spring of 62. I had to beg my dad in front of the theater, my hands and knees. I said, Dad, Dad, please, I want to see the mummy. Dad, please, I want to see the mummy. You know, and he says, all right, David, if it means that much to you. Yeah, I was down on my hands and knees on the ground crying. And he saw me crying. He said, all right, David, if it means that much to you. Yeah. So I saw the mummy for five cents. My dad paid, ha. <laughs> so there you see the historic Pickwick Theater where I saw the mummy and I saw the hammer version of Phantom of the Opera. That's the hammer version of the mummy starring the great Christopher Lee, who was in like well over 210 credits. Probably more credits than any actor, way more than John Wayne. But almost twice, almost 100 more than John Wayne almost. And then uh, there you see, there's the prost, the Pickwick, I mean the, Park Ridge, this is the Park Ridge Library here. I'm having a nice hot java. Good, good, good. And here's my Frankenstein shirt, see? Frankenstein, cool. There's a, that's the Glenn Strange Frankenstein. Monster Bash, creepyclassics.com. They have the Monster Bash convention every year in Mars, Pennsylvania. And we're gonna see them today, hosted by Matt Hoffman. I don't see him here. Yeah, Matt Hoffman's gonna host them today. Yeah. Anyway, they're showing this today. Them about the giant ant starring James Whitmore and James Arness. Seven o'clock tonight. Right bit there in the movie room, first floor. They're showing they're showing them for free at seven o'clock. So come on out, tell them the rock sent you. Come out and see them. And here's another movie they're showing on a Tuesday at twelve. That's much ado about nothing. I don't, I don't want to see that. That's, that's, that's much ado about nothing. That sounds like a Seinfeld movie. You know, it's a show about nothing. Huh? Okay, here we are in the library and uh, going to the monster uh, display case. This is cool, man. So there is Cinema Terrors. Ray Harryhausen's genius there. That's the Emer from 20 Million Miles to Earth. Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah. There's the Cyclops. Battling Jason, or battling, yeah. No, no, battling um, Sinbad. Seven Voyage of Sinbad. Built by Ray Harryhausen, man. He did these guys. And he did this beast from 20,000 Fathoms. That's cool. Look at that. And there's the uh, Medusa with the arrow from uh, Seven Voyage of Sinbad. And there's the Talus, that med big metal guy. There's the creature, creature from the Black Lagoon. Here's the lizard, cool. These, the creature was designed by Millicent Patrick. So there she is, there she is painting the creature right there. She was a beautiful woman. That's right, Milson Patrick designed the creature, not the, not the, um, what do you call it? The, um, the guys that they gave the makeup to. I forget their name. Um, <laughs> anyway, there's, there's Stan Winston. Stan Winston, he did these, like pumpkin head. Cool, he did this dinosaur here. Hi, There's Jurassic Park, Alien. It's Stan Winston standing next to Schwarzenegger from Terminator. There's the Alien. These were designed, These all these models were made by Paul Pandocci. Monster, builder, painter. 
How do you like that creature, man? Isn't that that's perfect? That's just like him. That is the best creature model I've ever seen. It's the best creature model that I've ever seen. It looks exactly like him. Perfectly painted, man. Look at that. Here is, okay, and there is the Teenage Werewolf. It's by Paul Blaisdell. Paul Blaisdell on the right, and that's his friend Bob Burns on the left. That's Paul Blaisdell. That's his buddy Bob Burns who helped him out. Teenage Werewolf, Michael Landon, in his greatest role ever. Yeah. There's the dead dog there. Look at that. No weed. I was a teenage wolf. There's the she creature. Cool. That's by Paul Blaisdell. He did all these. There's the saucer man from Invasion of the Saucer Men. Cool. And there is this is my favorite, the monster of Piedras Blancas. Starring the great Don Sullivan, who is it? He battles the monster. Yeah. See, it won the Shock Award by Famous Monsters of Filmland magazine, first place. There it is, Monster Piedras Blancas. And there's Jeannie Carmen. I met her, and I met Don Sullivan. Don Sullivan was in Giant Gila Monster. He battled the Giant Gila Monster, and then he was in uh, Teenage Zombies, where he battles the zombies. And then he was in this one. This is probably his greatest role ever. Well, a higher budget B movie where he battles the monster. And then down there, there we go. There's the scorpion from Black Scorpion. And that's King Kong right there. These are by Willis O'Brien. That's Willis O'Brien right there. And he did King Kong. There it is. There's King Kong holding the girl outside his building. See, King Kong. There's Mighty Joe Young. He did that one too. There's Mighty Joe Young saving the girl from the fire. See, he's up in the trees. Those are the flames right there. Mighty Joe Young. Too long. Pictures of the movie. Yeah, I love Teenage Wolf and She Creature. Those are my two favorite. And but this is my absolute favorite, Monster Pedras Blancas. Yeah. So, okay, it double built with this one, Oki from Oki, right there, with the alligator, the big alligator down there. Okay, I can remember, they're showing you them tonight, so come out to see them, 7 p.m. down in the first floor auditorium, hosted by Matt Hoffman at 7 p.m., there's going to be a short subject, and he's going to talk about the movie, then they're going to show the movie right after that. Giant Ant, this movie helped inspire my movie, The Devil Ant. Also that one, um, that episode of The Outer Limits, the Zanti Misfits with the ants where they go, eh, eh, eh. That, that's, that's how I got them, that inspired the noise of the ant in Devil Ant, my movie from 1999. So the, this movie, Them, and the Zanti Misfits on the old Outer Limits show, both of those inspired my movie, The Devil Ant. Plus my friend Don Stillwell made a short film in 1964, it's 1965, yeah. spring 65 I think it was, a movie called The Ant Devils, a three-minute movie where I was a victim of this big rubber ant that he bought down the street at Ben Franklin for like 25 cents. Now it's uh, an abandoned building. It used to be the home of Pioneer Press. Well, that used to be Ben Franklin back in the 60s, a five-and-dime store, and um, Ben Franklin five-and-dime store, and he bought a big six-inch rubber ant for a quarter there and dangled it by an invisible thread down a tree in his backyard and it bit me and it bit my buddy Len Lakowski and then Don Stillwell, Don Stillwell Jr., his dad Don Stillwell Sr., the architect who designed Maine South, Maine North and all that, he um, he filmed it, he directed it, but Don Stillwell Jr. is the one that uh, shot the ant at the end. That's, he, him and Len Lakowski both graduated with me in 75 from Maine South High School. So. Um, Anyway, he shoots the ant at the end, the rubber ant, and it crawls away. It crawls up the tree, you know, so. My movie, The Devil Ant, is also inspired on Don's three-minute short film, filmed in spring of 65 on Super 8 film, The Ant Devil. But mine's longer. Mine's a full-length story. So mine, mine's like two hours and 38 minutes, so mine's totally different. It shows how he was created and everything, and, it's, it, it, and I added my own story, so. Ah, that's a good job, though. Okay. That's good. That's good Java. It's Dr. Suave Java. Okay, I'll see you. I got it from Trader Joe's today for free. Okay. I got my Frankenstein shirt on. So.
I'll see you. Come to see them tonight at 7 o'clock here in the library downstairs on the first floor. Okay, I'll see you.